Greg Opie Hughes put a video out about me. He finally hey. did it. He finally addressed WATP. Nice. We've only been talking about him for three decades. <laughs> <laughs> he finally decided to respond to it. And this is groundbreaking stuff. Um, this is a pretty good hot take from Opie. Remember, I didn't edit this. Opie did. This is Opie's team putting this together for <laughs> us. So somebody comments, who are these podcasts already trashed your beer show? So he's going to respond to that. Who are these podcasts already trashed your beer? Whatever, dude. It's so weird. These low level podcasts. Like I was talking to my agent the other day and they're aware of these low. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're talking to your agent. He answers the phone when you call him. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why would your agent give a shit about you? You haven't had a job in years. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, so I was talking to my agent about his 10% cut, and it turns out to be um, zero. <laughs> <laughs> to my agent the other day, and they're aware of these low-level podcasts attacking me. And know what they said? The one guy, he goes, I Googled some of these people. Nothing comes up. He goes, nothing comes up. They have done absolutely nothing with their careers. Literally nothing. Like they have nothing on the Google, nothing, and they're uh, they're attacking me. Jesus, go do your show and become somebody. But the people, uh, my agent looked up. He's like, literally nothing comes up on these people. I'm like, I know, man. They're like, they're they're full of themselves. They think they're setting the world on fire, and they're just a low level podcast that that you know that attacked me to maybe get more people watching their shit. I have no idea. I well, think, first of all, I if nothing no comes idea, up, how would he know? They literally... <laughs> well, <laughs> you get right. what I'm saying? Like, if nothing comes up, how would he know? That makes no sense. My, my favorite part about that is he goes, I told my agent about who are these podcasts, and he said nothing comes up on Google. So Opie can't even be bothered to Google this himself. So I'm, I'm guessing his agent misheard him or didn't know what he was Googling. Because... Just the phrase, who are these podcasts, you would think we wouldn't show up because that's a question, right? Yeah. You know, yeah, not yeah, a great right. question, not worded <laughs> properly, but you get it. But look at what happens when you Google who are these podcasts, because I, I decided to do this myself here, and I'm not signed in or anything like that. There's none of my browser history. So the first thing that shows up is our website. The second thing is uh, Apple, our podcast, then our YouTube page. Uh, then who are who hosts who are these podcasts with the answer, Carl. And then there's our Facebook page, there's our Google podcast page, there's our Reddit page, there's our Podbay page, or Stitcher. I mean, do I need to go on? This goes on forever. The fact that his, his agent goes, yeah, I Googled them, and, and they don't show up anywhere. It's like, that's all it is, is the first five pages of Yeah, Google like, Google Opie doesn't results. have Google? Like, <laughs> well, like, he doesn't have Google or something? Like, yeah, my, my, my computer doesn't come with Google. I don't... <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't bother to me? look it up. <laughs> to be like, fair, yeah. uh, Greg said that uh, he looked him up on the Google, so he may have gone to thegoogle.com, <laughs> and he probably yeah. didn't come up on that. Right. <laughs> it turns out to not even be a search engine. Go figure yeah. <laughs> No idea, but they literally have nothing going on still in their careers. I would love All right, so I never say this. This is something I never say because I think it's a douche thing to say, and it's also fleeting. But the fact that we are making way more money than Opie on podcasting, and then he would say we're doing nothing in our careers is insane. Opie, you're the one literally doing nothing in your career right now. You're yelling at Facebook Live. <laughs> With Doggy. Yeah, Doggy's doing more. <laughs> yeah, Doggy's got more going on than you do. <laughs> you more. Like, Can I go over there with those people? I would love to know how old some of these people are, and I would compare where I was in my career to them. And if, if I have a better idea. Let's compare my life when I'm your age to you. <laughs> 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 that would be fun. <laughs> not be pretty. It would not be pretty. Mm. So just do your dumb show. Realize that uh, attacking other shows is a good bit here and there. But if you rely on just that, you ain't going anywhere in this business. I'm telling you right now. What would you That's know about that? That's why we only did Jocktober here and there. We didn't turn our whole show into Jocktober. Because it gets old after a while. Oh, we're on year eight. 
<laughs> but okay, if we, you say so. We only did Jock Vember one time, all right? <laughs> and Jock Sember was never done. <laughs> I love that Opie's explaining to me how podcasting works or the industry works. Like, I think I probably know more about it than you do at this point. So what's fun is that he made a video about me. And at the same time, he made a video about Steel Toe. And he put it out on Twitter. He goes, let's see who has more viewers or listeners or whatever, because he... He called us both out. So this video has uh, how many views? 1.4 thousand. Okay. Let's, let's see how we're doing versus Steel Toe. Here's our Steel Toe video. Steel Toe is another phony, another low-level <laughs> phony. He was trying to get me on his podcast, and he was incredibly nice to me. And I didn't know anything about him. Like, ah, you know what? Maybe it's time to, like, maybe do some of these shows, right? And this guy was being incredibly nice. I'm a fan. I looked up to you when I was young. Look at what's on the screen right now. Look how excited Opie gets over five dollars. So pathetic and small. <laughs> the, the comments that he's putting up on the screen. Yeah, yeah. are so embarrassing. I added That's got to be automated. It's got to be automated, right? I think he's literally because you see him reach his arm down, and then all of a sudden the comments change. I, I think he's doing this. And this wow. has 795 views. All right, we're beating Steel Toe. That's good to know. <laughs> all this really nice stuff. I'm like, oh. And then I followed him on Twitter. There, I, then I think there were a couple DMs. Got to get my story right. And then um, and I, I looked a little deeper. I'm like, you're trashing me on your – what are you doing? And then I told him. I called him out. And I, I think he said something like, my bad or whatever. And then Whoops. I wished him uh, – <laughs> he's got the DMs. I wished him uh, all the best. I go, but <laughs> I can't. I can't do your show. I'll, I'll tell you what Aaron said about this. So Aaron reached out to him, wanted to have him on the show, and Opie's like, yeah, all right, that sounds good. And Aaron says he was at the, the first hole on the golf course when Opie said, all right, yeah, that sounds cool. And then by the time he got to the 11th hole, Opie had written him like, dude, I just saw this video where you're goofing on me. What the fuck? So Opie spent an hour and a half going through all of their content, looking oh, for wow. any mention of him, and then finally found something. I was like, what the fuck? Did he do it, or did his agent do it? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think his agent answers his calls, but yeah. Good question. I think it's the same agent as Chad Zubak at this point. Uh, Opie, you're breaking up. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, get in an elevator. <laughs> Kind of two-faced. You were really, really nice to me, and then I did a little research and found out you were trashing me. But he's just another low-level podcast. Um, guarantee if you Google him, nothing comes up. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Nothing comes up. His <laughs> his claim to fame is beating up uh, other other podcasts. Woo! That is that is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I love that his go-to is like, if you Google him, nothing will come up. That's not how Google works. Everything comes up. Yeah. Google's yeah, good yeah. at that. <laughs> That's not a good thing to say. People will Google it and see that you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's got to be using Google wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's an idiot. Like, there's no way. Yeah. No, no, no. His agent told him that also, if you Google Steel Tell, nothing comes up. His agent never lies to him. Yeah. That... Opie's more of a Bing man anyway. That's probably why <laughs> probably he doesn't know how to true. use Google. Yeah. So, guys, I'm very excited to tell you, Beer Show Episode 2 is out. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Cheers. And we have to go through <laughs> this. And I've been, you know what? I feel bad. I've been keeping Cardiff all this time. <laughs> Cardiff, you, you don't feel bad, cocksucker. <laughs> 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 you want to <feel, laughs> join the show, King of All Cucks? Sure. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's check this out. This is Beer Show number two. Let's start with the intro here. Beer, 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 beer. Damn, that doesn't suck. All right. Oh, oh, God. You had to get through the gates and everything here at Get Parts, and we are going to. Hey, oh, but you could try that again. It's not <laughs> live. <laughs> <laughs> he stumbles, stumbles through the door. It's one take Literally or nothing. <laughs> out of the gate. <laughs> he hits his shit on the door. He's like, fuck. <laughs> he oh, falls down and rolls hues. over. Yeah. <laughs> Here at Get Parts, and we are going to drink some beer today. Matt, what are we trying today, brother? All right, we're going to do the Catskill Black Lager. Nice. Mm -hmm. Corollas Triple. 
I like the fact that he zooms in on all these beers that are displayed out in the bar. They're like, what are we yeah, drinking today? He's like, none of for? these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why are those the beers that are out then? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Listen, we here at Gebhardt's have some beers we got to move this month. <laughs> yeah. And these right. aren't them. <laughs> Blows the dust off a bottle. <laughs> what does this say? The customers love this one. <laughs> How's the Corolla? It's triple. Belgian triple. triple. All right, we got to do a little old world, a little new world. All right. And also with us today is our friend Bo. All right, the first problem with Bo is that we weren't the same damn hat. We're not on a baseball team. We're just here to drink beer. Look, we both got the same hat. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because these two guys looked like they were on a baseball team together, so I'm glad he explained that. Yeah. Look at the excitement in Bo's face. Yeah. <laughs> He's so excited to be on Opie's beer show. <laughs> By the way, why, uh, when he mentioned that Bo was here, did the guy at the bar who apparently runs Gephardt, he just shook his head. So yeah. Yeah. he's got some beef with Bo, right? Yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah, this is my fucking regular. I can't get rid of. Right. He's here. Because the bar's actually not open. Opie's doing something right here. Because uh, I think that uh, myself and Anthony commented on this, like being in a crowded, busy, loud bar is not a great way to do a show. So now he's like, all right, let's do it before you open, which is smart. That's a good move. I think I think the Gephardt's guy was pissed because Opie made Bo take off the Gephardt's hat before he started shooting. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> well, have that, matching hats, pal. That's the funny thing is that they're both wearing Gephardt's hats. So they both got free hats that they're wearing to this. Is that so, what that is? Yes. Yeah, those are camouflage Gebhardt's beer culture hats. So they start off with this black lager. And uh, remember the drinking game every time you hear cheers. Well, that's already one big difference between him and Anthony. They're starting off with the black lager. <laughs> well, yes. He'll make a comment on this uh, later on in the show. But first, I got to tell you that Opie is a very good judge of what he tastes when he tastes a beer. He's amazing at it. All right, Bo, try the uh, the night shine. Tell me what you think. Cheers. 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 Oh. They kill it, man. Night Casco does a great job. They're uh, the black log rays. I, I I taste. Uh, I don't know what I taste. I, I want to say Calm. I taste black licorice. Maybe you get a little bit of that. Mostly, I'm picking up some of the uh, little slight coffee, little, little rye, little toasted, a little rye, yeah, rye, huh? Opie's like, what's black? Uh, black licorice? Yeah. Is that right? It's like, I mean, you could have just said coffee. <laughs> yeah. It would have been the easy one. Here's what you're tasting, Opie. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Good try, buddy. <laughs> you can tell that Matt does not want to engage in a real conversation about beer with Opie. Yes. At all. He knows that he's a, he's a moron when it comes to that. All right. So now they're going to zoom in on this beer that's on the wall behind Matt. And it's called um, Fatal Ass. And they're going to give Opie a chance to riff on this one. Wait, Matt, what is this? What, the fat old ass? The fat old ass, and is that an Obama beer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to drink that, though. But, but what are they? What is the fat old ass? So I think this one's from Denmark. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's say Denmark. Uh, a friend of mine was over there and brought it back because oh, that's everybody awesome. wants a little fat old ass. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that. No. Good one, Ope. Huh. He could well, probably take a class at improv. Jeez. <laughs> he, he was always good at riffing and comedy was happening in front of him. So uh, glad Although to see maybe he did learn from Betsy Stover on improv <laughs> because <laughs> it's about at the same level. Hey, hey Carl, I'm, I'm going to be starting a cider review show yeah. uh, this week. We're be, we'll be covering a Dickens cider. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. What do you got for that, Cardiff? You got a joke? Dick inside her. Get it? Dick, dick inside her. There yeah, it is. That's the joke. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, uh, how about a dick inside him cider? Do you got one of those? No. I'm more into that. So let's no. see. Um, the Obama beer is over there. Let's see what Opie's got for that. I think we're getting back to the edgelord that was the destroyer on the Opie and Anthony show. An Obama okay. beer. Is, it, then, is uh, it a dark lager? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Get it? Because he's a black yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> is it a beer that when it comes in, all the other beers lock the doors? <laughs> See, now that would have been the right joke. Yeah. That's the perfect <laughs> joke for that, obviously. <laughs> all right. So Opie decides 
the the second beer they're going to taste. He wants to drink from his shoe. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is frat boy Opie, by the way. Lest yeah. you forget, Geneseo, Studio Geneseo. This is uh, frat boy Opie coming out. <laughs> hey, no, no, here. What? No. In your shoe? Yeah, it's tradition. This is not a shoe beer. Yeah, but it's tradition because this is a shoe beer. But it's good luck because oh, <laughs> Jenny Cream Ale coming out. Interesting. All right, I like Matt. He's got making some points here. What? I I used to love the Jenny Screamers. Yeah, out of a shoe, you do. I used to drink these in Western New York when I lived in Buffalo, you can Rochester. Drink one in Downstate New York too, right out of your shoe. All right, I'll drink that out of the shoe. But this is like you know for good luck because you're going to Thailand. Uh -huh. All right. So he's pouring a Jenny Cream Ale into Opie's shoe. Mm -hmm. Now, you might think, that's not really Opie's shoe. It is. Oh. And you might think, he's not really going to drink that. He will. Oh. <laughs> so let's watch this. Let's he, watch. He is an edgelord. <laughs> let's watch Opie. I'm more upset that his shoe was on the bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The that's bar owner was like, can you get your fucking shoe <laughs> off of my bar, please? <laughs> Opie's a fucking problem. Good luck to you and your trip to Thailand, brother. Good luck to you and your trip to the hospital. <laughs> ah, oh. Bo, you want to hit? Oh, fuck. <laughs> don't do it, Bo. No, don't do it. Oh, oh, Bo, Bo, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> Bo's trying to impress his friend. <laughs> by, the, by the way, I got athletes <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, well, if you can't be funny, be shocking. Yeah, I guess. I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, what is this? Is this jackass? Yes. Like, what? Yeah, the sh shock mm -hmm. jock is back, baby! Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking for my Stunk shoe! fart! <laughs> How long before he's smashing homeless people's food again? I know, that's what I'm hoping for. On the next De Beer show, I punch a homeless guy in the face. He's gonna, take a yeah. he's gonna take a picture of Bo when he takes a shit in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we did it back on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the awkward part of the show. We've seen it in episode one when mm. the guy who buys the beer walks over and up. He's like, what the fuck is your problem? And the guy's like, why well, work here? Well, this happens again in this episode. The water was killing people because it was contaminated. So if you boil, what's up? Who the hell are you? Sean. Hi, Sean. Long time. Hi, Sean. How are you? What a white man. <laughs> We're just drinking beer, Sean. Don't worry. How you doing, Sean? Good, man. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Who the hell is Sean? I don't even want to know. Don't worry about Sean. He'll just be here. Don't worry about Sean. He'll be singing. You'll hear him. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> He's the cook. He works in the kitchen there. He's showing up to work, LP. Who the hell is this <laughs> yeah. guy? He's an employee. <laughs> Who do you think it would be? Matt is so embarrassed by Opie. I know. Like, don't, don't worry about him, okay? At least he wasn't, like, uh, Hispanic. He didn't call him an Ola. Oh, <laughs> Thank yeah. God. Who's this Ola? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the bartender looks annoyed through this entire thing. Yeah. He looks like he wants no part of this. It's not a good advertisement for his bar. There's a sneaker up on the top of it. The employees walk in, and Opie's afraid. That's not a good sign. Who the hell is this? Well, the fact that the owner is not concerned tells me maybe you shouldn't be concerned either. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he was getting mugged or robbed just now? Because that's how he reacted. What's this black man doing on the Upper West Side? <laughs> he must be here for the Obama beer. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we just had a dark lager. You would have loved it. <laughs> All right. So this is hilarious because... So they pour this beer that Matt's very fond of. And um, Matt explains to Opie he's got to smell it first. And this is hilarious because Opie's trying to sound smart, but he's just repeating what Matt just said. Mm. I smell, uh, yeah. I want to say orange, uh, caramel. orange caramel, right? Yeah, that's what we get. <laughs> Matt goes, yeah, it's orange and caramel. He looks so annoyed. He looks He's so fucking so annoyed. annoyed. <laughs> I smell uh, orange and caramel. Orange and caramel? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Idiot. This Bo's not even enjoying this. Like, no one's <laughs> no. enjoying any of this. No one's having fun. Everyone looks like they're annoyed. Right. When was the last time you drank beer with a bunch of guys that had no fun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome to Beer Detention, episode <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. That's what this is like. <laughs> you have to go drink beer with Opie. Oh, fuck. Fine. <laughs> <What did> I <laughs> do. 
I'll word my lesson. You know he's gonna go home to his wife. Like, did he do the shoe thing again? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. He yes, wanted me to pour did. very expensive beer into his fucking sneaker, and I told him no. <laughs> did he yell at the black employee? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought he was gonna stab him. Thank God. <laughs> All right. So this is the last clip I have from episode number two. And this is Opie's take on the second beer that they're tasting. Ah, that, that, this could be my favorite beer since we started this, uh, Matt. Very good. Wow. Yeah. All, All right. four of them. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Number one out of four. Yeah, Maybe because it wasn't in your shoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, out of a glass. That's interesting. Yeah, I kind of like this. Can I have a clean glass? Go! Here you go, your majesty. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-E.